So, I've been looking on um, Craigslist for better quality friends because of, you know. And um, so I found this friend, Rachel, and she's, she's this girl, and she's really nice, even though she's Christian. And so uh, we were talking about how I'm going to improve my self-empowerment because, I mean, I'm already a Buddhist, but I needed something to top it off, you know. So I was just suggesting that we should go and see Dr. Wayne Dwyer. And he's that bald guy from Hawaii. He has all that freaky energy stuff, like with the bugs. He wrote all those, um, those books about trees and, and the world. And, and he tells you that, well, I mean, I'll just say it, that there isn't one part of you that I don't create. So it's really cool like that. So we walked into this thing, and I'm aiming for the front row right in the middle because that's where I like to be, in the middle of the attention. And so she starts acting all shy. And I'm like, why are you doing that? Like, why are you being shy? Do you know what that says to me? That tells me that you don't think you're good enough to be with me. It's so insulting. And so I wasn't going to say anything. And then suddenly... Shut up. Then shut up. And then she turns to me and she says, oh, you're so much better dressed for this than I am. Nobody's going to be looking at me when I'm standing next to you, are they? Do you know what that tells me? That tells me that you're so fucking selfish that you don't think you're good enough to be seen with me. So then what does that make me? People are so selfish. They see what you do as a threat. I mean, first of all, I constantly have people coming up to me and saying, oh, you're a model. So she just wants to get used to it. She should get over herself. And if they do want to say that, then I'm grateful. I'm humble with that. And you know why? Because I constantly have to ask myself every day as a Buddhist, how do I get rid of my ego? How do I serve myself today so that I can be a better person? And all she was doing in that moment was just taking, taking. So selfish. So I went to the seminar, and um, we are heading towards the front seat, because that's where I like to be in the middle. And um, then she starts acting all shy. And I was like, why are you doing that? I mean, if you're shy, it basically means that you don't think that you're good enough to be with me. I mean, that's just telling me that you don't think that you're good enough to be in my company. That's selfish. So what I did was I let it go. Because, personally, I don't want to have anything to do with you at that point. Then she turned to me and she said, Oh, you're so much prettier than me. I'm not dressed for it. Nobody's going to be looking at me when I'm standing next to you, are they? People are so selfish. They see what you do as a threat. I constantly have people coming up to me and telling me, oh, you're beautiful, you should be a model. And you know what? I'm humble with it. I'm very grateful. And I get over myself and my ego because I have to. I'm a Buddhist. You constantly have to ask yourself, how can I serve myself today so that I can be a better person? You know what she was doing in that moment? She was taking. Because I'm a very generous person. I give every day. And if people want to come up and talk to me and tell me I'm beautiful, that's up to them. And if they're looking at me, it means they're almost looking at her because she's standing right next to me. So where was her gratitude? She was so selfish. You know what? She really disappointed me then. She really let me down. I'm not going to have any more conversations with her at all. And anyway, in Buddhism, true beauty is on the inside, and she didn't say anything about how pretty I am. On the inside. 